My name is Dr. Nathaniel Rawicki. I'm a spine surgeon at the Spine Center in Baton Rouge, primarily serving the North Shore communities of Covington, Hammond, and Walker. And I'm a spine surgeon with a particular interest in minimally invasive spine surgery, with really a goal of getting my patients back on their feet as fast as I possibly can, limit their time in the operating room, limit the amount of medications that they need, and get them back to the life that they love. Today I'm going to be discussing a new ultra-minimally invasive technique which is called an endoscopic assisted lumbar inner body fusion. I think what one person might describe as minimally invasive might not mean the same to the next person. You're trying to do something in a way where you're minimizing incisions, minimizing blood loss in the operating room, minimizing recovery time most importantly, while still keeping things safe and in making sure that you're able to accomplish the same goals that you can through a large incision but through much smaller incisions. So where ultra minimally invasive comes in and this particular topic that we're discussing today is it's another way of being able to see things even better than we could with previous minimally invasive techniques while using smaller tools to accomplish the same feat. Now to describe that best, I think in general what we're talking about is a small incision, usually somewhere around an inch or a little bit less than an inch, right around two centimeters, and you're making an incision where instead of peeling off the muscle or really causing muscle damage, what you're doing is you're able to spread the muscle itself and get yourself right where you need to be to perform the surgery to open up space for the nerves. Now with this ultra minimally invasive technique, we can shrink the size of that incision by about a half a centimeter overall in each incision that you might need, allowing me to provide an even safer surgery for my patients. So one particular thing with this ultra minimally invasive system that I've been trained in, which is the Johnson & Johnson slash Depusynthes Telogen system, is that this is the first iteration of this technology in the state of Louisiana. We are the only people in the state of Louisiana who have this and have been trained to do this. And on top of that, there's only one other in the Southeast. So we're able to offer kind of cutting edge care, something that you might think you might only be able to find in large cities around the Northeast or the West Coast. We're able to offer that to you here in Louisiana for the first time ever. You might ask yourself, who needs this surgery? Who should be evaluated for these problems? And so in general, people that come to me with particularly leg pain, pain that's radiating down from their lower back into their legs, and after some clinical examination and maybe some imaging findings have been shown to have a little bit of instability where one of these bones may be shifting somewhat on the others, and we can see that through x-rays and MRIs, those are the type of people that may be candidates for this surgery. In those patients with instability, where we deem that a fusion might be necessary, that there's no other option for them from a non-surgical or surgical perspective, that's when this ultra-minimally invasive technique really becomes an option for you. We make a small incision, and then we're able to place our tube right down to the joint of interest. When we do that, we then place the camera through the tube itself, allowing us to see more of the nerves, more of the things that might be under pressure and causing the patient problems. We then are able to, with little microscopic tools, remove the joint itself to allow us access to the disc space. Now the disc space itself is that shock absorbing cushion which is allowing you to relieve pressure from one level to the next. When that becomes diseased with wear and tear, with arthritis, with degeneration, whatever you may call it or may have heard it called, that can lead to pressure from the front to the back on those nerves which are trying to exit out and make their way down the legs, which is what's causing that leg pain. One of the options for you, particularly in the setting of instability or if those bones are shifting on one another, is to remove the disc, which is now a diseased disc, and replace it with an interbody device, which is a cage filled with bone graft, which increases this height and the space where the disc currently is, allows you some room to open up those nerve tunnels where those are exiting, and by using this endoscopic ultra minimally invasive technique, I can do that with smaller incisions. I'm able to adequately visualize and really see those nerves as those are exiting, make sure that I have all the pressure off that nerve before finishing the surgery. Oftentimes this procedure can be performed in an outpatient 23 hour stay type situation. So normally for most patients, I have them stay just one night in the hospital. However, I have them get up and walk the same day of the surgery. Oftentimes those patients are able to leave the next day on their own devices, able to walk around and do most of the things that they want to, and in some cases without ever requiring a narcotic pain pill, particularly when they go home. We normally keep them from lifting, bending, or twisting any kind of heavy weight for at least six weeks 
but otherwise back to driving as soon as they're off any kind of pain medication, which could be as short as two days from then, uh, back to walking the same day and, and really back to doing the things that they want to do quickly. So if you'd like more information and you think that this might be something that you're interested in, you could seek an appointment with us or with me here at the thespinecenterbr.com. Online, you could find that easily, as well as through a blog article which I've written, which is discussing this much further. You can use the internet to continue to search for more information on it, but I'm available to talk to you about this. I want to be the one who can offer you something new, maybe a new solution different than what other people might be offering.